you seem a fairly sober audience, <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of you hallucinate. Um, um, it's, it's rather evident when someone hallucinates. They, they, they listen, they look, there's a sudden overwhelming feeling of a sound, a smell, uh, a vision from outside. Um, and um, this is not at all like an image. Your imagination is your own. You recollect and you put things together, where the, whereas a hallucination tends to appear suddenly, full-blown, involuntarily, and not apparently anything to do with you. And it's only when you can't find an outside source that you start to think in a bewildered way that something, something is going on out of, out of control and automatically in you. The brain is always active. The old notion used to be that when you're asleep, the brain shuts down. On the contrary, it is more active than dreaming than at any other time, but it's a different sort of activity. And this is also true of the perceptual systems. If there's no visual input, the visual system doesn't shut down. It becomes hungry, it wants activity, it has to keep going, and it will start to generate images or hallucinations of its own. Now, I want to talk a little bit about another sort of hallucination where you don't have to be blind or visually impaired. And I mentioned this before, these are the hallucinations one may get as one's dropping off to sleep. Um, So-called hypnagogic hallucinations. Um, I want to read you a little bit from a letter, whatever is first glimpsed is transformed in the most extraordinary ways at great speed. Shapes are seen, replicated, multiplied, reversed in negative, shown in three dimensions, squeezed into lines, curved into new shapes. Color is added, tinted, subtracted. Textures are the most fascinating. Grass becomes fur, becomes hair follicles, becomes waving, dancing lines of light, and a hundred other variations that my words are too coarse to describe. Um, if you suffer from insomnia, yeah. what does it do to your hallucinations? Um, well, um, uh, there are at least two sorts of sleep. There's the, there's the sleep, which is so-called REM sleep, which is associated with highly visual dreaming and, and other sleep. Um, and uh, if you are deprived of sleep, and if in fact you are just deprived of REM sleep alone, which can be done if one is hooked up to a machine and, and, and you, you wake the person every time they, they start dreaming, um, then the impulse to dream, the need to dream, will become greater and greater, and it will finally burst into the conscious state as hallucination. And although there are easier ways, if you want to hallucinate, um, <laughs> you, you know, um, uh, stay, um, stay up for a week, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's easier to smoke some pot or something. Uh, Thank you very much. Okay.